How's it going everyone, Boros I'm here. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to make your PS4 game sizes smaller and save uh, disk space on PS4 11.00 jailbreak and lower. So uh, this tool is called PKG Ripper. So the first thing that you have to do is go and download uh, PKG Ripper, the executable, in addition to the DLL file. Once you do that, you also need to download the PS4 fake package tools and then you will need to uh, extract the files here in the same location as the PKG Ripper and then you're gonna double click on the uh, PKG Ripper and now we're gonna go to uh, browse and select the game that you wanna shrink or reduce its size Okay, so this method here is the method uh, of games that already have patches on PKG Ripper. Uh, after this, I'm going to be showing you how to create your own patches when you uh, select the game and it says there are no patches available for this game. So this method here is for games that already have patches uh, on the uh, PKG Ripper repository and you can just uh, reduce them without making a patch. So here you will see a screen of different patches uh, that you can apply. So for the languages here, obviously you will need to choose only one language. You can, for example, choose English only. And also you can uh, select the patch that removes all the duplicate content from the update. So when you download an update and the game, uh, sometimes there are duplicate files. This tool will remove the duplicate files and will only keep uh, one one of them, one version of them. So here we're going to select, uh, for example, uh, English only, and we're going to select to remove all the duplicate uh, content from the update. And we're going to select only one language, and then you're going to just press uh, go here. Now, depending on the size of your game package, uh, it's going to take uh, a long time if the package is big. Uh, also make sure that you have at least uh, over two times the size of the game on your hard drive because it's going to extract the file and then it's going to uh, repackage it as a package. So make sure that you have enough space on your hard drive before you do this. So now we're just going to let it uh, generate a fake package. Once it's done Let's just go ahead and check it out. Image has been created. We're going to click on open the destination folder. And here we're going to check the size of this package file, which is now around 2 gigabyte. So it's 2.06 gigabyte. Let's check the original fake package, which is 3.09. So we have reduced the size of this game by 1 gigabyte. Uh, other games will be reduced much much more than this they can be reduced by 10 gigabyte or more so now that you have created a, a smaller fake package for your game it's not going to work with the original update so you have to remarry it with the uh, with the update so it's not going to work together so we have to marry the new small package with the update to do that we're going to go to uh, browse and we're going to add the update file. Uh, yeah, this is the update file. And now we're going to press on the patch uh, to link the update with the base package that has been reduced. Now, now we're going to click on browse and we're going to select the package that we just created now that we shrunk. You can find it in the output folder here and you're going to click on open and then you will simply click on go. Now it will uh, remarry the update file with the uh, base package that you have reduced. Uh, it's going to extract and then uh, repackage this update file to make it work with the base package. If you don't do this and you install uh, the base package reduced, then you install the update without remarrying it, it's not going to work. So you have to 
remarry the update with the package. Now we have both the reduced package and the update. You can now just uh, go to the PS4 and install them. So on the PS4, we're gonna go to the package installer and we're gonna install the game uh, base package that will be created, this one, uh, which has been reduced in size. And then we're gonna install the uh, update. Uh, you can also do some uh, stuff on the uh, update so you can reduce uh, its size. So here, uh, we're gonna check the information and you can see here it's 2.23 gigabyte total size. The previous game was 4.16. So it's almost a two gigabyte size we've saved on this game. So uh, other games can be reduced, uh, sizes can be reduced drastically to like even 48 gigabyte or more. Uh, it depends on uh, each game. Uh, you can check the PKG Ripper for a list of games and how much size you can save on them. So uh, as you can see here, the game is functioning correctly. It's running. It's given us no issues at all. Now we're going to go and uh, do the uh, other method, which is showing you how to create uh, your own patches. So we're going to go to uh, open here, just, just to show you that it's going to say there are no patches. So we're going to click on browse and we're going to select the game uh, TMNT here. It's uh, 750 megabyte. And you're going to get this message, uh, there are no patches available for this game. We're just going to click uh, OK. And we're going to go to patches here. See no patch files detected. We're going to go to patches here. Select create. And then in browse here, we're going to select the uh, game that we want to reduce its size. This one right here. Version 1.00. Give it a moment it might take a long long time to add the game uh, if it's uh, if it's a big size game it's gonna freeze it's, it's gonna look like it's frozen but it's not frozen just give it some time and then it's gonna be added to the uh, patch creator or to the PKG Ripper so uh, now that we've added the uh, base package the first thing that you have to do which is the easiest thing is go to uh, duplicates from update you click on that and now you're going to select the update file click open and now give it a moment to add the update now it's going to automatically detect the duplicate uh, stuff the, the content that is duplicate and it's going to give you the size how much it's going to be reduced Simply create, click on create patch file. The patch has been created, added to the patches directory. Click on OK, and now we're going to close this window. We can also close this window just to make sure you can go to uh, patches folder here. And then you're going to sort by date modified, and you can see your patch has been created for. For example, here TMNT has been created. So just to make sure that the patch has been created. Now we're going to go to browse again. And we're going to select the game. Okay. Click open. And then we're going to select the patch here, which says duplicate content from update will be removed. And we're going to click go. This means that we have to remarry it with the update file, so just click OK. Now give it some time to uh, extract the package and then do its thing. It might take long or short depending on the size of your package and your uh, PC setup and your CPU and stuff. So image has been created. We're going to click OK. So let's go ahead and check the size of this newly created shrunk game. It's 430 from 750. So this is the uh, modified reduced size package. 
and this here is the original game size which is around 750 so this is the original 750 and this is the reduced size 420 it has almost reduced by half now here we have to create a patch to remarry them so click on create go to browse and select the update file of the game okay now if you want to re remove more files from the update you can do that if you know what you do and sometimes you will find languages uh, folders here it's much easier to remove they will remove along a big portion of the game a uh, big size but if you don't know what you do and you can just go ahead and type patch description like remarry uh, with the update or with the base package with the base package and simply click on uh, create patch file patch has been created okay close this window we're gonna go to browse and we're gonna select the update file okay then we're gonna select the patch that you just created remarry with package with a base package now we'll click on browse and we select the reduced base package the shrunk base package click open and then we're going to click go so now the uh, small base package will be remarried with the update package and we can install them on the ps4 without issues without remarrying package and update they will not work so you have to do this okay click okay we're going to open the file destination and now you can see here that we have the game and the update you can go ahead now and install them on the PS4. So this is the game size before reducing. It's 1.33. Gonna remove it now. And we're gonna install the new shrunk game. This is the base package that we've just created. And this is the update 1.08 for this game. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and check the size of this game after we've reduced it a bit. Information and it's 900 from 1.33 to 900 like a 0 0.4 gigabyte reduced size launching it to just make sure it's working and of course it is working uh, so as i said um this is just for this game for for other games the size can be reduced drastically you can go ahead and check the uh, pkg ripper github page here for example you can save on this game here this is the base package original size this is the ripped size and this is the update original and the update ripped this is this how much space you're going to save on those games it's huge for far cry 48 33 uh, and 25 22 21 this can be very handy you can save a lot of space with this tool uh, you can use this the games that already have patches or you can create patches the point is that you will be saving a lot of space with this tool on ps4 11.00 jailbreak and lower so that's it that's the whole tutorial uh, hope you find this helpful thank you for watching and i will see you soon should anything else comes up take care see you soon